Target because I wanted to cook something for my man, my man. Stop. I gotta put my AirPods in rice because I dropped it in the sink. I have to catch y'all up on so many things. That's good. Tell me what it means. Staring out the window. Hi you guys, so I just got done from the nail place. Well, I didn't just get done from the nail place, but I showed her a picture of the design that I wanted, which I really wanted to do something. I'm a very basic, like stick to it. If I like something, I'm gonna get it done in the same colors. My toes are always white, my nails are always white, or it's pink. It's very simple, or like a Frenchie. But I would not want to do any more overlays nothing like i just wanted my natural nail so that's what i did um they turned out okay i really don't know if i really love it but i do love that i took off like the dip that i had on because all of it is really the same um so i just want to get rid of acrylic uh, not acrylic on uh, gel also but just really nourish my natural nails and just take care of the natural version of myself like n lashes will be coming off um really just falling in love with sasha herself and not getting so carried away like i'm pretty simple um i don't really do too much but at the same time 
I don't want anything to become an idol or anything to become a god. And a lot of the times we don't realize that this is happening when you can't do anything. Like it's one thing that I was raised to always be put together and I still believe that. But it nourishing and being grateful and admiring your natural beauty is something that I truly believe that we as women need to get back to because of the fact that we use like excuses of if our hair isn't done why can't you do it yourself if our nails isn't done why can't you do it yourself if your lashes aren't done why can't you do it yourself things that alter who you are and I don't want to be a part of that so the small things that I like to do for myself I am you know either going to start doing it for myself like I really want to know like where my money is going what's happening and um you know, even Starbucks itself, I've been talking to you guys, opening up about this, and I want to get off of Starbucks also and not drink it. Um, there was like a na nation nationwide shortage of the matcha, and I felt like that was a reason for me to be like, oh, yeah, no. So I need to learn how to make it myself, make it at home, and then we can do like cute, vis cute visuals for the vlog of me making it at home. Isn't that, doesn't that sound awesome? So I went to the grocery store. I'm going to be making some soup. And I want this soup to last me today, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, at least four or five days. And I know I may be dragging it for some, but I personally just want to cook my meals at home because every time that I eat out, I'm disappointed. And it's like, what is the point of this, Sasha? So I have to make the time. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Since I've gotten this truck, I literally am always hitting all of the curbs, but yeah, y'all, that's pretty much what I wanted to tell y'all. You are beautiful. You are phenomenal. God made no mistakes with you. And yeah, Jesus loves you. It just got super dark, but I'm going to talk to y'all a little, a lot later. I dropped my headphones when I was, um, I dropped my headphones in my bag when I was watching. So I need to put my AirPods in rice. I gotta put my AirPods in rice because I dropped it in the sink. <sighs> Y'all have it? Y'all those have it? Okay, that was like my first and only like um, Spanish lesson from what if y'all don't know this, my whole entire family speaks Spanish, okay? Whole entire family speaks Spanish parents instead of passing on the knowledge yeah okay so if you are bilingual teach them kids and stop trying to use it as a way of them not knowing because you're crippling your children you're crippling the next generation teach them another language that's what you should be doing um anyways i have some chick-fil-a now my chick-fil-a the ice is like uh defrosted because i got this around two it's currently six something as well as i got me a salad from chick-fil-a y'all sorry if the camera's wobbly or not i got me a little chicken salad and i'm about to go ahead and eat this and then i'm gonna have like a snack after probably some trail mix or some chips but how are y'all doing how are you doing i just want to like literally give someone a long distance hug right now so some changes with me the other morning well i've been seeing like a lot of get ready with me's which i don't wear makeup the only thing i would do for myself is get my lashes done and i currently remove those um and if i wore makeup i would love just i guess the creativity of it and knowing how to do it on someone else but me personally i hate the feel of makeup like thick foundation foundation period or different things on my face i don't like that i like my skin to breathe but i recently have been trying the l'oreal bronzer kind of gives you some like like it's, it's a lumi glotion and it feels so lightweight i love that about it and I've been using that on my skin and I really, really like it. And then I added some concealer and a little bit of blush to it. And I was like, I can dig this. But y'all, um, yeah, I decided to take my lashes off. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm still discerning. I don't know if I want to do a lash lift, brow lamination or anything. or just kind of like stay this way for a little minute to kind of just 
obviously fall in love with like who you are as a person that's very important like as a woman like all these things that is out here it kind of gets taken away when it should like enhance your natural beauty it gets taken away where you look like a completely different person i never want to be that person so um yeah i'm back to like no lashes i don't know how, to, how i feel about it yet but um yeah so i'm about to eat my salad and i'm gonna watch some tv but i wanted to tune back in because i feel like it's been like six days or something since i've like said anything to y'all so yeah to work officially it's going to be a phenomenal day i'm claiming the victory today already ooh, ooh. good afternoon what's poppin it is a brand new vlog today is july the 9th i need to start telling y'all the date because i realized that the vlogs that i love watching they be filling this in to make you feel like you're with them and you can think back like what was I doing on that day in time? I feel like I'm going in the wrong direction. Seafood. I came to Target because I wanted to cook something for my man, my man. Stuffed salmon. But I got a refresher. But I wanted like a big salmon. But it's not here. But I also need everything I need to make the stuff part. So I'm gonna be back, cause I need to focus. Everything that I got 
so I did end up showing you originally what I got um which was just a couple of items it was like a couple of jeans I'm really trying to change the wardrobe as I already shared with you guys before but um let's just get right into it so I got these it's called skater pants or whatever I'm not gonna do a try and haul because you will likely see all of these items in my reels of get ready with me's and things of that nature so if you are not already make sure that you are subscribed you're locked in so that you see all of my videos but i just have these boot cut jeans i'm really into like pants that is more of a flared leg instead of like the skinny fitted jeans i just feel like it's not giving what it's supposed to give at my age and representing Christ. So we're just getting rid of those and just wanting to dress more modestly, modestly and something that is appealing to my shape. Sometimes I feel drowned if I'm wearing something a little bit too baggy. And then sometimes I feel like this is giving too much shape and we need to scale it back a lot. Okay, let's get rid of that one. I also got these and you know what i love something i get it in yeah i got the exact same jeans i or like pants i love these so much y'all i thought that it looked so good and these are like skater pants i don't know i got them for, from forever 21 of course and i got this in a size large the medium is really where i want to be at however the thighs we needed to go up a size. And then that's annoying with the waist. But here we are, right? These might be my favorite. Like, I just want to wear this around the house. That's how much I'm feeling it. Ooh, shirts. Belt. So finally got a belt, y'all. Suit that is a strapless bodysuit. And it has, like, some ruching on the side. I was going to get a white one, but I didn't end up getting it. I got this in a size large. And then I also got a another black bodysuit that is more of the off the shoulders or can be on the shoulders. The way that I envisioned this was like a really cute top, but I'm hoping that it doesn't disappoint. This is in a size medium large, I believe. I got two of these, y'all. These are so cute. Y'all see me trying this on in the store. This was, it has the little shoulder pads. And it's just a basic white tee. This is the type of stuff that I be on that I personally freaking love to wear. Okay. And lastly, I got these two tops. Love the material. It's a turtleneck slight work and it has a little bit of ripping on it. I love this color on my skin. And I even would love to wear this orange with this bright green pants color blocking. What you know about that? It this black top. I love, again, staple pieces that I can wear all year round with uh, pants that actually fits my waist correctly. And I'm very hurt about it. They're very basic, but this strap right here hurts my foot so much. I feel like I have to stretch it out, but I feel like this is such a comfortable heel and it's black. So I feel like I would wear this all the time. Hi you guys. 
I have to catch y'all up on so many things that's going on in my life. And the first thing that I want to say is that God is so good because you already know that on this channel, we praise the Lord. We point everyone to Jesus, okay? Um, so I'm just sitting here editing this vlog and I realized that there's a lot of things that's missing. So I lost some of my footage, y'all. But let me just kept y'all up. So I went ahead and did a travel vlog to Charlotte, North Carolina. I went to a aquarium. It was like really nice. It was my first time going to an aquarium. It was really awesome. We also did a date night. So we did the aquarium. We did a rooftop date night. We also did a... Um, we went to the movies. Now, I went to watch Sound of Freedom. However, I couldn't finish watching the movie. But if you're watching this vlog, I want to encourage you to please go watch Sound of Freedom. I think they still have. I, I was hearing something about how they were promoting other people to buy their ticket just because they want people to see this video. It's go watch this video. They're watching things they shouldn't be watching on TikTok anyway. So this is good information. This is going to save a lot of people's lives. And I just wanna let someone know today that you're free. You're free. You are free. A lot to do. I also, y'all, I've decided that I'm gonna do longer vlogs. Let me know if you guys are interested in this because I personally, so like, what am I going to vlog about? But absolutely everything. So just leave a comment in the comment section down below. Could you guys please comment below what you're grateful for? Just comment one thing that you're grateful for. And let's just get a positive comment section for the Lord. Let him look down and just be proud in this comment section today. Okay, I just woke up. And I am trying to finish editing this vlog. I brushed my teeth, but I haven't like got up, got up. I need to do my hair. I need to eat something. I'm thinking that I'm going to get my nails done today because they are beaded and crusted. I have been doing a lot coming up in the future vlogs. And I ended up breaking a lot of my nails. So... I think that's everything. I think that's definitely everything that I need to fill y'all in about with this vlog. But I really hope that y'all enjoyed. And I will see you very soon. Bye.